Hey, the guys are over here today bringing an F1 2014 gameplay video. Yes, I've been given a preview code of F1 2014, and so we're going to be previewing F1 2014 for the coming weeks. And we're going to kick things off here with my first F1 2014 video with a 100% race around the Austrian Grand Prix, obviously new to the 2014 calendar here in F1. And we're going to be racing in uh, Daniel Ricciardo's Red Bull Racing. I really like the Red Bull T-Cam. I did a few tests on time trial to see what kind of T-Cam I liked. Really liking the Red Bull one at the moment so we're going to do 100% race around Austria and as you can see we're going to be using practically no assists we've got the corn line on only and that's the only assist I've got on so no driving assists whatsoever so the gameplay you're about to see is going to be a pretty good representation of what the cars will be handling like and I can tell you right now before we kick off the race um, you know, to you know, lots of people were speculating that it's going to be like 2013. You know, lots of people thought that there was too much grip coming from the trailers and whatnot. But I suspect all the trailers were with AI with assists and on very easy because when you turn off all the assists, at least when I have and I tried it in time trial a few times, the cars handle very differently. There's a lot of lack of grip in the corners, especially slow corners, especially at the rear. You really do have to be a bit more patient than you were on last year's game to put down the throttle, and that's a good thing. There's plenty of understeer as well, which is another good factor because there should be quite understeery because, of course, the 2014 cars have less downforce this year. Uh, you can counteract it a tiny bit by using quite high wings. You can see on that setup in the background of the gameplay, uh, I went for, I believe, an 8-3 eight uh, eight or 8-4 wing, and that's quite high for, you know, F1 in general. Because in F1 2013, you could pretty much get away with running like a 2-1 uh, front wing and rear wing angle everywhere. But on this game for now, you know what I'm feeling like? It looks like you're going to have to put a lot higher front wing to counteract the understeer you'll get from the lack of downforce. But um, yeah, that's my little two cents. I'm not going to talk too much about how the car handles that much. Because I also want to concentrate on the actual racing, which was really good in this race. And this was actually my first race on F1 2014. So I literally, obviously I said, I did a few laps in time trial just to get a feel for the t-cam and the handling and sort but those were only about five laps so i've literally this is the first mega race when i'm doing the first actual race i'm going to be doing and it's a 100 percent race so yeah we're kicking things off with a bang here for f1 2014 here at the austrian grand prix no idea how the track is going to be like um i've enjoyed it on other racing games so it should be pretty good here on this f1 game so let's get onto the grid obviously we're in the ripple of daniel ricardo the australian doing very well this year in f1 we're going to be starting from the back as well because i just want to give myself a challenge obviously the red bull is should be you know the red bull should be maybe the second fastest car or at least the third fastest on par with maybe williams um so you know we shouldn't have too much problem making our way through the grid uh but i'm expecting the mercedes to be quite op and to run away with it rosberg and hamilton on pole and locking out the front row obviously so they're going to run away probably so we're getting to five red lights anyway here for a 100 race around austria our first race on f1 2014 and we are off and we're getting a lot of wheel spin there really not getting off the line well compared to the AI and look at the rear tires they're already orange there for a bit so it looks like the tire temperatures are very sensitive this year as they've lit up completely on the start and they didn't used to do that on 2013 so we come through the first corner now pretty nice and clean up to uh, 19th place now and we're behind Jules Bianchi in the Marussia and we're going to try and see who uh, who we can kind of jump coming up to this next hairpin star corner second gear corner on this uh, new game obviously with the with the eight gear gearbox so uh the first gear is not really used at all. It probably will be used at places like Monaco, but here at Austria, pretty much the lowest gear you're going to go is second gear for that hairpin. So as we've been talking, we're up to 13th place. We've gained quite a few positions on AI, so uh, this year the AI really haven't improved that much. I mean, they're still the regular old AI in terms of the racecraft really, really, really isn't that amazing. I mean, in terms of pace, it looks like they have actually have improved, or it might just be the fact that I'm struggling to get to grips with the handling. I mean, it happens every year. Every year we say the AI have improved a bit, but but really it's just us all getting a bit slower because we're not used to the new handling system. So we'll uh, kind of, I'm going to judge the AI later on in a few weeks time and really see what AI are like. But now we're making a move on button. Nice move down to turn one of the, on that McLaren of Jensen Button. Nice move up to 11th place. So just outside the points, just out of uh, points, we can see Sergio Perez there. Looks like he is going very slowly indeed. It looks like the two Williams are battling up ahead of Bottas and Massa have gone purple in the first sector. So we're really getting on Perez here. It looks like Perez is trying to make a move on Valtteri Bottas so maybe we can kind of sniff a move here if Perez really doesn't make it go off on Bottas we can maybe make a move dive bomb down the inside of Perez Perez going very slowly trying to overtake Bottas I've had a bit of rear a rear rear slip there as the rear completely snapped on me and I have to snap right and
and correct the oversteer. So plenty of oversteer here on the new handling model. And now we're cutting later on to lap, going to lap six, in fact. And we're going to try and overtake Valtteri Bottas. But look at it, that Mercedes engine. He's actually pulling away a tiny bit with DRS. But into the first corner now in the braking zone. We're going to gain on him. We're going down the inside. He's going to give us the room. We're up to ninth place. So it looks like definitely the Mercedes engines are faster than the Renault engines on this game. But in the braking zones, obviously, we can try and outbreak the AI. AI never been that great on bre on braking on any Codemasters F1 game or even any F1 game in general. I believe also I remember uh, back on, whoa, Jesus, as we're on screen, we've completely lost the rear there. We're going to get to the action. We've completely lost the rear. Bottas has overtaken us. Perez is, over is trying to overtake us. He's going side by side with us. He has overtaken us now. Can we get back at Perez? We're going to go down the inside, tapped him slightly, but we've gone back up to 10th place now, overtaking Perez. So, yeah, we lost the rear there, coming out of that slow hairpin corner. That cost us two places, but now we're coming back on Valtteri Bottas on to, on to lap seven, down to the hairpin. Can we make a dive bomb move down the inside of Valtteri Bottas? Yes, we are going to make it. Gone purple by a whole second in the first sector. We're back up to ninth place. And so uh, now that we're back up to ninth place, I'm going to continue my sentence before we jump to the action. So, yeah, I, I even remember, like, on F1 2006 or whatever it was called, the Championship Edition on PS3, even the AI then weren't really that great on braking. It's a very hard thing to do to try and make AI break as late as a person on a, on a racing game because, you know, the, the person will always try and go the deepest they can, whereas the AI have to be a bit calculated. But uh, as I've been talking, we overtook Massa. Pretty nice move down the inside. Pretty much the same as against Jensen Button, and uh, that was a pretty okay move. But getting back to the action now, we're caught to lap 11 now. We're right behind Kevin Magnussen in the McLaren. It looks like he is behind, I think that's a Force India or maybe Hulkenberg. And now we're coming up towards the Dane. Can we maybe make a dive bomb move down the inside of this hairpin? It's going to be very bold. Looks like we're really going to gain on Magnussen. Jesus Christ. We've had to lock up an absolute tree on the right tire. You can actually hear the screeching of the tire as we just overtook Kevin Magnussen. But Jesus, that was close. Looks like Magnussen got squeezed out by Hulkenberg and we just about made it past on that brake check so now we're on to uh, lap 13 going to lap 14 now we're chasing off to Nico Hoffman we just had a little slide there you can see my car went to the right hand side of the track as I just slid off the corner so very slippery this year on the handling model we've overtaken Nico Hoffman though into the first corner very nice move there for sixth place up to uh, up to sixth place by lap 14 so not doing too badly here in the Red Bull and theoretically should be a bit inferior on these guys in the straight line but looks like we're getting great downforce through these corners here at Austria and now we're going to come into the pits now now, very weird pit lane. Uh, you kind of have to keep on going quite fast through the pit lane. But Kimi Raikkonen's right in front of us. He's, he's come in. And uh, uh, so we're going to go on to the prime tyres, the yellow wall tyre, the soft compound. Right now, we're on the option red uh, super soft tyres, if you didn't know. So uh, we made that pit stop for a 3.7. So it looks like... Uh, it looks like that was okay compared to Raikkonen as well, so we haven't lost any time. And we're on minus three of fuel there, you can see on the right-hand side. So we're actually going to keep in lean mix, and we're going to try and save some fuel. Now, we're going to do that by having it in lean mix as well, but we're also going to have to maybe think about going on lower revs. This whole time I've been revving very high, so I may have to short shift to try and save some fuel, and maybe even lift and coast, which is a mechanic in the game. I'll have a video later up today explaining how you save fuel, for, uh, f save fuel. so do go check that out on my channel, and remember to subscribe for that video and for others on uh, on this channel for F1 2014 gameplay. So we've overtaken Kimi Raikkonen there. Quite brash move actually I must admit on lap 17 but we made it stick anyway up to P9 at the moment. Obviously people have yet to pit and as I say that now we're up to P6 on lap 20. Looks like Vettel's going very slowly. Our teammate looks like to have a problem as Alonso going very slowly behind him. I've overtaken Alonso very easily through the right hander there. I don't know what the hell Alonso is doing but now we're right behind our teammate Sebastian Vettel in the other red so this may be a bit harder to overtake as uh, it's the same car and now we're coming on to later on to lap 21 down towards the hairpin will we make a dive bomb move down the inside of Sebastian Vettel yes we will going very deep in, into the corner he is on the super soft tyre so he will have the extra grip off the corner there it is and he pounces over but we've got DRS we're going to move to the left hand side of the track he will give us the room hopefully yes he does he squeezes us a tiny bit we're on minus one fuel still, still in mean, uh, lean mix as well, but we're also still fighting Vettel quite well here, going around the outside of Vettel, and we're up to P3 now on Vettel, so that's pretty damn good. We're on the podium position at the moment, but now on to lap 23, seeing the mirrors on the left-hand side, Vettel is coming back at me, so Vettel somehow getting some great traction off that final corner. He's overtaking me with DRS as well, aided, and he's back up to third place, so uh, looks like Vettel's AI is very feisty indeed, so now we're going to have to try and come back at him, uh, the German, in the sister Red Bull car. 
far. And so here we go. Can we make a move again down the inside of this hairpin? We will try our best down the inside now. Will we get a better exit than we did last time? Still in lean mix. We're on fuel optimum, but I actually want to try and save some more fuel so we can go on rich later on in the race. Looks like Vettel's going to squeeze me on the right-hand side. Looks like the left-hand side is not available. We have to move to the right. Looks like his ERS light is flashing, so that means he will be harvesting some ERS. And uh, down to this corner, we may be able to get him very easily. Now, no, he's still there. Wow, okay, I thought he would have been going slowly because he was harvesting ERS, but he's still very much there. So we're still battling Vettel. We're still pretty much there. Going to try maybe go around the outside. This is great stuff. No, still side by side. And now we're having to tuck in behind Vettel, going through the left hand in sick gear. We're going very high on the gears right now at the moment, trying to save some fuel. We've lost the car a tad on that right hand. We went on the grass a tiny bit, and we had to get a snap of oversteer and correct it. Now that's allowed Kimi Raikkonen to come back at us now through the right hand of the last corner. Again, a bit of snap of oversteer. And on the final corner, some more oversteer riding the curb there. That's going to help us. And Kimi Raikkonen in the front is actually coming back at us so the Iceman going to try and overtake us will he do it he's going to try maybe going down the inside no he thinks better of it and we are going to stay in fourth place going through the first corner but now we're going to gain off Vettel we're going to get in slipstream he's got no DRS to defend I'm still in lean mix I've got a plus one on fuel so later on I can use Rich I'm going up back up the standard no need to save any more, more fuel I've been lifting and coasting forever oh my god massive dive bomb move there I forgot I actually did that massive dive bomb there and move on Vettel that unsettled him and now we can maybe get in his DRS zone we've opened DRS the rear flap to gain some more speed on the left hand side of the track there we go can we get Vettel hopefully this will be another easy move there and yes it is we're up to third place and yeah so as I said no more fuel saving we've lifted and coasted and uh, used lower revs to gain enough fuel back so now we're on plus one so that should take us towards the end and in fact that is the end of the action apparently that is the end of the action actually because the Mercedes guys, second and first, locking out the front row. They've bolted off. You can see Rosberg and Ve and Hamilton have both lapped everyone. Um, so, yeah, they've lapped me. They've lapped all the AI. They've just been completely OP as in real life. So that's, that's I guess that's good to see that the Mercedes is as OP as it is in real life. And uh, we're going to have to settle for third place here. We've gone a long way all the way to the last lap of the Grand Prix because actually we've been lapped. So we're going to finish on lap 70 here. Lewis Hamilton's won the race, but this has been the first race on F1 2014 and my first 100% race on F1 2014. And in fact, my first race on Austria on F1 2014. What a mouthful. So we're coming through the last corner. I'm going to come through for third place. So pretty happy with that. We're podium on my first race here. The first time I've done any sort of race distance and consistent lap times apart from, you know, five time trial laps. So pretty happy to get third place with Daniel Ricciardo's Red Bull here. So guys, if you did enjoy that race, a lot of action there. I hope you guys did enjoy that race. Give it a like and uh, give it a like also for the F1 2014 preview gameplay. And uh, comment below what you thought of the gameplay. If you have any questions about the handling, then do uh, ask me in the comments and I'll try and answer them. Subscribe if you're new for weekly F1 content and more F1 2014 content coming to later today. I also have a fuel saving video, so look out for that on my channel. So do subscribe for that and for more videos in the coming weeks. There'll be plenty coming over the next few weeks of F1 2014, so you don't want to miss it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. I've been Rafa, and I will see you guys next time.